Hey there hippies, you already know what time it is. Courtney Shavante here, back with another bougie hippie tutorial. I hope you guys are super excited for these butterfly clips because I most certainly am. Before we get started, make sure you do hit that subscribe button for me and hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any videos that I do have coming for you guys in the future. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and prep a little bit of resin um, and prepare your mold. From there, you're just going to add in a little base layer inside each cavity. Now you want to make sure that this is a nice even coat and it's bubble free. Feel free to use your popsicle stick to push that resin all the way towards the edges. Make sure you don't have any bubbles in there or anything like that. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking my foils and I'm pressing those down face downwards into two of the cavities. Now I'm working with a gold hollow and also a silver hollow. So, um... I will be having these available upcoming in my shop soon. I know I said that previously, but don't worry, they are on the way. Just be patient with me. But what I'm doing now is I'm just going to go ahead and add these pressed flowers in. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I have them spaced out. I'm doing two different color combinations. Um, so I'm going to be doing sets of three. The top set is going to be a purple set and the bottom set is going to be like pink and blue. So it's going to have like these really cool color combinations. So I'm just making sure they all kind of align with each other and I don't want them too matchy matchy. So what I'm doing for this part is the um, these two I'm going to be adding foils to this layer. So for the first one I'm going to be adding in some gold foil getting that in there nicely and then when I go over onto that next butterfly I am going to be using some silver foil. right here's the silver foil right here is such a pretty and bright silver so I really like it um, and you don't need to use a whole lot for these butterflies so definitely make sure you conserve your things and just get in there with that popsicle stick make sure everything's pushed around nicely and how you need it All right, so from here I have some premixed glitter that I made for each color combo and I'm just sprinkling a little of each around the flowers inside those two butterfly cavities inside my mold and making sure they're swirled around cutely with the toothpick so they're not all just clumped up in one space. So do definitely take the time to do that and then once you finish with this and getting everything exactly how you need it, making sure your foils are pushed down, you're just going to spray with some alcohol and then you're going to allow that some time to cure and let it sit All right, so now that this first layer has cured for us, we're going to go ahead and work on the second layer. So with the second layer, what I'm doing is on these, um, on the flower butterflies, I want them to be completely clear outside the glitter and the butterfly. So I'm just adding another layer of clear resin onto those two. For these next ones, I'm going to be pouring the resin directly into that glitter mix that we were working with the previous day and you're just going to add in some mica powder and also some glow powder on top. I want these butterfly clips to be really cute and funky and everything so I'm making sure that they just have like a lot of cute little elements to them because you know girls we like to stunt so I'm giving y'all that opportunity. The glow powder is just going to make sure that you can see them in the dark so it's going to look really cool if you um, or at any parties or anything like that or you just happen to be walk taking a walk at night I think it's just a really cute little accent so you're just gonna go ahead and get those stirred up very well you don't want any clumps and you do want to make sure you stir really well especially with this um, glow powder because the glow powder has a tendency to you know kind of not mix as well as the mica powders they don't disperse as easily 
I'm also adding in just a few alcohol inks just so I can make sure that I have the hues that I want for these butterfly hair clips. So take your time with mixing these colors, add in as you see fit, and you may need to add a little bit more as you go if you're not liking how the color is looking. But keep in mind it's going to be going on a very thin um, clear layer going on in a very thin layer over clear so I do want it to have some pop to it um, after you get it mixed up how you need it make sure you go ahead and pour those into their respective cavities on top of that first layer and then you're just going to make sure that it's nice and even and bubble free All right, so now that that has had a chance to fully cure, what we're going to do is we're just gonna go ahead and wiggle these on out of our mold and pop them on out, get each butterfly out. As you pull them out, you may notice some little excess pieces on the side. You can go ahead and scrape your nail across if you have nails like mine. If you don't, um, you may be able to use a spatula or something similar to that. On this piece, I had a little foil that was just kind of coming out on the edge. So I just used my sanding block to go ahead and file that down a bit and get that out the way. So after you get them pulled out the molds and you get the excess pieces pulled off, you're going to get your clips. Now I'm going to be using 40 millimeter clips and this is my E6000 glue that I'm going to be using to attach them. Now my E6000, I'm always having trouble with this E6000 glue. I'm always running out and always trying to push it up towards the edge so that's why I'm doing here and everything but once I do get it towards the edge I'm just gonna go ahead and get it open and um, I'm pulling out a few clips I'm putting these butterflies on a piece of paper a white sheet so that way you can see what I'm doing a bit better now open your clips up and just take your glue and you just want to put a nice little thin line you do not want it super thick and then you're going to place it onto the back of your butterfly closer towards that top half and then press them down firmly now just make sure you do the same for each and every one like I said you're gonna go through with a very very thin layer of that E6000 you do not want it coming up on the edges and coming up over on top of the clip because then it'll glow it will glue the um, clip closed and you most definitely do not want that Once those have had a chance to dry, which really only take maybe an hour or so, I am going to be applying them onto my custom packaging that I have for hair clips. If you guys are wanting a video on how I make these, they are completely handmade and it is super quick, cheap, and easy to make. I can definitely get that done for you. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and sliding these butterflies onto my branded packaging and getting them on there nicely. Like I said, they're coming in sets of threes, so I want to make sure they were color coordinated and everything. So this is how I'm putting them on there. I'm just sliding them on through that little slit on the slide. On, I'm sorry that slit on the side and then they are good to go and they are perfect and ready to be sent off and put onto the site all right so this is our show off right here these are our pink set um, it turned out absolutely beautifully I love how they coordinate 
this is how the pink and the blue flower one looks it's very very clear i'm loving this resin as well um, i switched from dr crafty because it was giving me some issues but i'm really loving this aqua seal so make sure you do check out that link below so that way you can check it out too this is the one that had the plain gold foil on the front with the um background and the glitter background this one turned out beautifully as well i really really love it and these this one is the one that had the um little esoteric foil on the front um so this one has the gold hollow printed foil with the smoky white alcohol ink background and this one is absolutely to die for so i love this one too now on to our purple set now. I love, love, love this purple set. It is absolutely stunning and I think it will look amazing on absolutely anybody, young or old. So this top one, this is how the um, flower butterfly clip came out. It is absolutely gorgeous as well. I love how those glitters look and that clear resin casting is absolutely stunning yes 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 all right this is the one that had that silver foiling in it with the background that glitter background this one turned out absolutely beautiful as well so i really really love this one too it's so nice and simple i can't wait to see how they glow and this right here this one is the silver hollow foil now this one turned out absolutely beautifully for me as well i am in love with it and y'all know i love this little decal so that's our last one of the purple all right so here we have our glow show i saved it for last this time these look absolutely beautiful in the dark and i love how they turned out if you love it too make sure you like comment leave some feedback on this video as i said before feedback is a gift and i'll catch you guys next time bye now